Good afternoon. There is now a $10,000 reward for information leading to the capture of convicted killer Joseph Cruz. Another $10,000 for Lionel Claw, a man with a history of shooting at and running from police. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live at State Police Headquarters, where State Police just updated us on the search. Marissa? Kim, the police chief says there is no doubt these two fugitives who slipped away yesterday are getting help, and they believe they are still somewhere in New Mexico. Now, the pair got away sometime Wednesday night while being transported from Santa Fe to the Las Cruces prison. It's believed they made their break near Artesia, but they made it back to Albuquerque quickly. They were captured on surveillance video at 4.30 yesterday morning at a motel near University in Gibson. Albuquerque police thought they had Claw cornered in a northeast Albuquerque neighborhood last night. He was seen in a vehicle with a woman, but after searching for hours, police couldn't find him. Sources tell us the two men were not together. State police, the U.S. Marshals and others are working together to track them down and anyone who's helping them. We're going to catch up to you at some point. It's going to be very uncomfortable for you if you harbored these two individuals, especially with the Marshal Service on board pretty confident that all that's going to come to light. So before we find you, come to us. Also today, a man claiming to be Lionel Claw's younger brother posted on our Facebook page defending Claw, saying anyone talking bad about him will, quote, get yourself shot like the cop my brother capped. Claw was sent to prison for 30 years for shooting two officers after a chase back in 2007. The alleged brother also posted that Claw goes by the name Lucky and that cop showed up to his house looking for Claw. Now, state police tell us they have some answers about how these two may have escaped, but they're not going to release that information right now as it may compromise the search. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Marissa. Now, the two corrections officers who were on that transport are on paid leave while the investigation continues. Now, the woman who was seen with who police believe was Claw last night was questioned, then released. We'll continue to follow the latest developments closely, bring you any updates both on air and online at krqe.com.